far as the product on the racetrack, I think we have we can't lose sight of the fact of what what happened at Bristol a couple of weeks ago. I think uh, we're not naive to this. We want we as NASCAR want our short track package to be better. We want that racing to be at the level that super speedways and our intermediate racetracks are today. We, I promise you, we are working as hard as we can with Goodyear, and we need to work harder. That's that's the bottom line. We need to work harder to come to a a, a place where, as I said a couple of weeks ago, we need to figure out how to bottle up what we learned at Bristol, uh, and also what we learned the first 30 laps at Richmond last week uh, on how that race unfolded. You know, the tires and the way they wear and the way the drivers have to manage that, the tire wear and the tire fall off is really the what we're trying to achieve. When you can go out on any track, especially short tracks, and you can run at 10 tenths, and the equipment will take it and the tire will take it, then you're not you're taking all the skill set out away from the driver. So we are I promise you and I promise our fans that we are working daily to continue to try to come up with, you know, a tire that will you know, will give us the short track racing that we're all looking for. And the the surface at Richmond, the surface at Martinsville, the surface at other short tracks around the the, the circuit, they're they're all different. So it's not a it's not a one tire fix all type um you know, solution. So we have to continue to work and, and we're not, <clears throat> we're not resting on anything that we did yesterday. Today, we're going to be digging on this again and, and working on solutions and, and trying to uh, get to a better place.